And it's like Satan's controlling the minds of the unsaved to not get saved. And Satan's controlling the minds of the disobedient God Christians not to obey God. You got demon controlled unsaved people. You got demon controlled disobedient God church people or whatever. And you can talk to disobedient God church people until you're blue in the face and they may never want to believe the truth you're telling them or want to repent of their sins or start obeying God. My job is just to tell unsaved people you need to get saved or disobedient God Christians you need to repent and obey and they decide whether they want to do it or not. It's not just me speaking to them, it's God's Word and it's God's Spirit speaking to them at the same time and they're deciding, no Jesus, I don't want to start obeying you in the church. No Jesus, I don't want to get saved today. And Satan's saying, no, you don't need to get saved. No, you don't need to obey God in the church or whatever. And they're believing Satan, they're demon controlled. Demon controlled unsaved people, demon controlled disobedient to God Christians. And there's a third kind of person to be, which was what we should choose to be, obedient to God Christians. Yes, I do need to get saved through the cross. Yes, I do need to obey God to do church like the book of Acts or something. <laughs> or act like a happy Noah if nobody wants to do church like the book of Acts today. Do what Jesus tells me to do in a demon-controlled church world or something. <laughs> people don't want to get saved, fine, that's their choice. If people don't want to start to obey God in the church, fine, that's their choice. And the judgment's coming, and maybe when the judgment hits, people will be more interested in getting saved when they got nothing left or something. Or start to do church God's way if they got nothing left. Like uh, Venezuela or the power goes out or something. Economic collapse, plague, whatever Jesus wants to punish people with in his time and his way, he can try to work it out for good to save a few people through it. So you just got to keep learning truth and when trouble hits, maybe people will want to listen to it more. Right now in a sort of a rich man going to hell society, they don't want to hear about this stuff very much. Want to shut it down or whatever. But uh, just keep learning the truth, have a good relationship with Jesus. That's what you're going to need for the tribulation ahead. Jesus controls the tribulation. He can help you through it. You don't have to be bothered by it. I can be paralyzed from neck down in a wheelchair and find success with Jesus helping me through it. It's not this kind of a genie Jesus that wants everybody healthy and wealthy all the time. It's a kind of Jesus that trains us through the things we suffer. Jesus learned obedience through the things he suffered. We're supposed to learn obedience through the things we suffer. It's our free will choice. Two, think God isn't good in suffering or believe he is good in suffering. The whole Bible is about people being tempted, people going through suffering, people trying to trust in God to miraculously help them out of problems in this life, and that's what we need to be doing today too. But these people who want to trust in themselves and trust in their riches, what are they going to do when the lights go off or something, or the power goes off, or the plague comes through or something? We need Jesus to help us through it, like a Psalm 91 or something. Do not fear these things. The angels can help you through it. I'm not alone. Jesus is with me, King of the Universe, my bodyguard, my protector, my provider. If I'm going out shopping, Jesus could say, buy it, Rod, because I'm buying with my gold, with my riches. I did not spare dying on a cross for you. I'll freely give you everything else you need. I gave my blood for you. I'll give you everything else you need. Or I gave my son for you. I'll give you everything else you need. He who did not spare his own son will freely give us all things. We shouldn't worry about anything. Invisible Jesus is here, king of the universe. He's got all the gold in heaven and earth. Who cares what man's got or whatever. He could make me a billionaire today if he wanted to. He could feed me and clothe me today like he's been doing for 60 years. I don't have to be bothered by that stuff. If the lights go out, he's got a plan for me to feed me when the lights go out. It may be going to the store and get some ice and try to preserve the food in the fridge or something, but we shouldn't worry about this stuff. God can tell us what to do and give us the power to do it. In whatever circumstance we're in, like a fiery furnace, safe with Jesus. Lions then safe with Jesus. In the Great Tribulation, safe with Jesus. He doesn't leave us or forsake us. He's always with us. He can help us through it. 